What's up, everyone? This is David with PickDogs.com with your free pick in the Navy vs. South Florida game on Saturday, September 30th, 2023. We give away a ton of free picks here on our YouTube channel, as well as over at PickDogs.com and SportsChatPlace.com. But if you're wondering what bets I like the best and what bets our team likes the best, head on over to PickDogs or SportsChatPlace. Click that premium pick tab. You can check out me and all of our other expert handicappers. Don't forget to use code PICK at checkout to save 15%. Any purchase of $19 or more. All right, let's get into this one here. As we have Navy taking on South Florida, and Navy will be at home for this matchup. Navy comes into this one with a 1-2 and two record uh, after losing to Memphis by a score of 28-24 to 24 in their last game. Navy did outgain Memphis 432-408, to 408, but they did turn the ball over twice and had an additional two turnovers on downs. Navy did beat Wagner 24 to nothing in their second game uh, after opening the season with a 42 to 3 loss against Notre Dame. Navy has really struggled offensively. You know, they looked okay against Memphis, um, but they're only scoring 17 points per game this season. They're led by quarterback Ty Lavatai, who has thrown for 337 yards and two scores and has added 118 rushing yards. The Navy defense is allowing 23 points against per game. Um, they gave up the 400 yards and 28 points to Memphis, but um, they did play okay in that game. That Memphis offense is pretty high-powered. Going over to South Florida, they are 2-2 two two after they defeated Rice by a score of 42-29 to in their last game. South Florida racked up 597 total yards in that game, with 435 coming through the air. Prior to that game, South Florida was in that a close matchup with Alabama where they ultimately lost 17-3, to but I think that game gave them a ton of confidence uh, going forward. The South Florida offense is scoring 26.8 points per game with 230 passing and 209 rushing yards per game, and they're led by quarterback Byron Brown, who has thrown for 885 yards, six touchdowns, and three interceptions while adding 357 rushing yards and five scores. Brown makes this offense go, um, so protecting him, making sure he stays healthy is very important. The South Florida defense is allowing just over 27 points against per game with 327 passing and 88 rushing yards. Looking at this matchup is an interesting one because South Florida, um, you know, they opened the season with a loss to Western Kentucky, um, and the, but they played that close game with Alabama, and like I said, I think that gave them some confidence, you know, regardless of what kind of team that Alabama team was in that game. Um, they have confidence. They held Alabama at only 17 points, only lost by 14 points. And I think we saw that last week against Rice. And I think we're going to see it again here in this game. Uh, Navy is nothing special this season as we have seen. You know, they struggled against Notre Dame. Uh, that game against Wagner, they only won 24 to nothing. Um, so I think South Florida finds himself in a good spot here. The South Florida pass defense has had some holes, but they don't really need to worry that, about that too much against Navy. And I just think it's a good matchup here. So I'm going to take South Florida with the points in this one as my free pick. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, as well as turn those notifications on so you're the first to see all of our content when we release it. If you're looking for my best bets, head on over to PickDogs.com. Click that premium pick tab. You can check out me and all of our other expert handicappers. While you're on the sites, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They give you a ton of great information, and it helps you get a leg up. Good luck today, and I'll see you guys soon.